Alright, enough of that. What's good and what's up, guys? Let's do Jet here with some more Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we had our seamless transition. I'm gonna stop before I get pegged with tomatoes and bricks. But no, we went through the opening cutscenes, we went through the tutorial, and our first stage. In this episode, let's go ahead and enter Flower Fields and get away from this tranquil music. I don't want to fall asleep while I'm recording, that would suck. Okay, now here's the typical music you'll probably be hearing. We So fly away. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can jump off that wall, D. Now, these flowers right here, you make uh, them bloom, and you get little beads from them. Just walk in sort of a little circle like this. For some reason, this reminds me of, uh, this is a random connection to make, but uh, that reminds me of the minigame, Loves Me, Loves Me Not, from uh, Super Mario 64 DS, you know, where Yoshi's sitting on the castle, plucking the, um, plucking the feathers, or the, not feathers, <laughs> these aren't birds, uh, plucking the... Petals. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, like a car. But oh, for some reason, it just reminds me of that. I don't know why. I do remember sitting there sometimes and playing that mini game. Fun mini game. So let's go ahead and pick this up. For these, you can just drive right into them. You don't get any beats in them, but uh, you do get them to bloom as well. And I think there's something down here. Ah, bad person. But no, there's actually not something. What I'm thinking of is actually up here. Get away from me. So we can actually do that to get back up here quickly. This actually does get you beads, though. So go ahead and pick these up. Give me that red one. See ya! Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So here's the flower clock. Ah, that's a number two star up there. What? Got it. Okay, now let's just keep on going forward. These guys are cool. Uh, and the fact that, uh, well, for right now, if you throw them, it's only really one. But there's different iterations that, like, do multiple shots, it's really cool. Uh, admittedly, I want to fly over here. Oh yeah, look, look at that pro jump. You know, it wasn't that pro, that was still really cool how I was able to, like, even though it was pretty much done, I jumped off it. Jumped off it. Like that. So we have a frog here, we want to jump over. And here is our next furniture item. Let's go ahead and hop on down. There are lily pads down here. I forget what these guys' names are. Uh, but if they... Oh, I guess they won't do it here. But later on, they'll like try to ram it to you. Don't worry, they don't hurt. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this game doesn't actually hurt. Like, the Waddle Dees here, uh, they'll just... Actually, I won't almost spoil the fun. Next time I see one, I'll uh, run into it purposely. Ah, these were here. These uh, exclamation points. They aren't for uh, when an enemy sees you. Oh, I missed. Those guys will hurt you, though. They are too un... Un... Uh... Unveil. <laughs> Unveil is not the word I'm looking for. They are to reveal... Uh, some type of furniture on it. That was a CD right there. But they're uh, various items that they'll show off. So if you see them, it's very worth your time to go after them. And you see it's no longer raining. Alright, uh, I think we want to go- yeah. The flowers already started to dissipate, so... Furniture Swords is actually a really short stage. A lot of these are actually pretty short. Except for the, uh... Fountain Gardens. So here's the 5 star. I don't think we've seen the 3 star yet. Cause I believe- oh. No, here's the, uh, another transformation. Ah, this one. Yes, this is UFO. If you hold down 2, you can go ahead and uh, start absorbing things, you know, like a UFO. Uh, funny enough, if you see some Wild Ds, I don't think there's anything going to be around here. Okay, so this is telling you to absorb. And... What button is it? Ah, it's 1, okay. So do that. Ah, here's the 3 over here. Yoink. Now, the thing about the electric tag is it's, um... It's a screen clearer, so... Uh, if there's an enemy out the side that you're worried about, don't worry, uh, don't worry too much about them. If you, uh, suck up, it's three items. Boom. You destroy everything that's on screen. Which is usually how you, uh, get rid of stuff on screen. Gordos are not affected, though. Like, just like everything, uh, in the Kirby series, Gordos are the bane of everyone's existence. 
But there's also another uh, creature that's just like that. Okay, so let's just keep on going. And the wild will try to run away from you. Like I said, this game has a lot of personality. Those bees right there, if you pick them up, they uh... They will home out, like home in on you. You can pick them up like that. Boop! Wild D's kind of cower in fear of you because you're terrifying or something. Look at that 400 streak. Now to the point, I'm gonna lose it. Calling it now. Just make sure we have our yeah we have everything. Okay, I just want to double check. Uh, should we know too that if you pause it, you can continue, you can uh, start over, or you can go over to controls. Uh, so if like you uh, want to like get some fun trials where you messed up and don't want to play the whole entire stage again, just start over. Or you don't want to end the stage. All right, so here's the end of stage. Speaking of which. I think I've had higher streaks than that, but 446 is nothing to sneeze at. Alright, so let's try and get the 5. Wait. Now, there we go. Now, the 5 is really finicky in the fact that... See, right there. It should have stopped, but for some reason, it will continue to have that momentum. It's really irritating. Like, it never perfectly stops in the uh, center. And oftentimes, if you've really named that 5 and it doesn't... You have to play the entire stage again, and it's really irritating. Now look at that streak. There's the three furniture items. And we got the alarm clock patch. Why are you coming from that direction? Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle. What a definite pickle I'm in. So what kind of pickle? Prince Bluff, Lord Kirby. Lord Kirby, you say? You're still here. Oh, thank goodness I ran to you. I had the most dire of pickles stripes. Okay. Could I possibly ask for your help? Thank you so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall go uh, not go unnoticed. It shall go unnoticed. Screw you, Kirby. So anytime you see that kind of loading, uh, you see that you are inside a building. You see, I can't see the funny tenants who uh, will move into my buildings here. It's the market. Uh, what is one to do? I think, uh... Spiffing? Sure. Spiffing out of the place up a uh, bit would definitely attract new tenants. So, you are forced to uh, do furniture. It's only for one, though. Now I'll go ahead and take a look at this picture. So, in case you couldn't tell by the outline, here's the furniture that you need. So, we need to go ahead and make it resemble that. So we should already have the furniture items. I believe you get the, the furniture items you need, like, on the first two stages, so. Uh, sure, let's do that. You can press A or you can just press start. Or plus, sorry. So play as an item, so we want to go boop, and then we want to go boop, and then we're done. That was super difficult. Wonderful job, Lord Kirby! And so here is the first of our uh, tenants. These are special creatures. So play with friends. You can now play with friends. Uh, press up to invite them to play. So yes, this is the infamous mini games. I was gonna wait to go over this, but I'm gonna at least mention it now. We press up and you go ahead and play a mini game. It's Zeke's Hide and Seek. Zeke. Hide and Zeke. All right, enough of that. Um, so you can play mini games with them. There are a uh, hundred total and five uh, tenants. I will go over this in greater details, but do know this is a thing you can do uh, after every stage. Well, not every stage, but after certain stages, uh, you'll get a message from uh, little tenants. Like I said, there's five of them. That just that just looks wrong. What's wrong? We keep doing it while I explain. But yeah, after certain stages, uh, Zeke or uh, whatever uh, tenant you have uh, will be like, Oh, you can sit down? Oh, dude! I knew you could stand on it, but you can sit down! I guess you want to do that, you press down on the D-pad. Is Kirby about to fall asleep? Nice! Oh, this is cool. Okay, so... Uh, after certain stages, they'll call you and be like, Hey, I have a new mini game unlocked. Uh, I will not be playing all the mini games, but I will be going over them in great details. Probably after the last play. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Let's get back to my store. Yeah. Let's go ahead and ho -ya! That should, yeah, that goes all the way across. Why is there a bear sleeping underground?
Not only did he make mountains, but he also made a rainbow! I might be too excited. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I got gold ring. I just want to double check. Let's go to Rainbow Falls. Oh, no, I know which one this says. Okay. I was like... Oh! Wait. Whatever. Now, this stage is somewhat fun. So this is the first instance of pits. Oh, come here. Okay, so you can bump into the Weldies. And they will push you back. You can bump into them and knock them off. See ya! So this is the first instance of pits. Uh, and if you fall down them, you get picked up by this one little angel. And uh, she will carry you back up. So you wanna go ahead and grab this. Don't break this block because we need to get up here to get our first furniture item. Rainbow Arch. Oh, it's known as a rainbow. I get up here. I love the kind of uh, 20s uh, music going on here. Like, you know, that Disney sort of uh, music style. It's kind of nice. So go ahead and get rid of him. Uh, whatever. So these guys will chomp on you. As, I mean, they're the alligators, so it's kind of obvious what they're going to do. Go ahead and grab all that. Fly away. There we go. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Thank you for a seven stone. I want to kill you. I flatten the smithereens. D I am way too excited. I'm noticing that. Uh, no. Okay. This stage you will definitely uh it will, it will test your patience because uh, it's very easy. Like I said, to fall into these uh these little holes. You can actually take spears away from it, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Oh no no no! Don't do that. I'm gonna kill him. That was terrifying. All right, now here you want to rush it, cause I'm away. Give me that. All right. Okay, that was close. So you can see we have another transformation power over there. Uh, that's uh, one of the third one we'll be seeing. So we want to come up here, actually. Get rid of him. Give me that. And here's our second furniture item. This is the outdoor bath. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Go. Oh, you you son of a... No, you're coming with me. No, you're not. Alright, now this uh, power-up. I'm not sure how to feel about this power-up. This is basically the surfing power-up. Kirby looks like a penguin for some reason. So you jump with the uh, two button, and you... Uh, Press 1 to do a little uh, trick. For some reason, momentum is stupid to do in this. You can uh, go ahead and trick off of enemies. You can do the trick infinitely if um, it reserves, but there are some times where you don't want to do it. it. It's kind of irritating, actually. Like right here, you want to jump over. I missed the first two beats somehow. We. You want to like use tricks, mainly whenever like you're by an enemy. So... And they'll, like, off the time hide, uh, different items and stuff. There's a star there. Now, if you have a problem like I have, where for- Ah, uh, dang it. Well, hopefully I don't need that five. Now, if you have the kind of problem where I have where, uh, if you're, like, moving through a 2D segment and it can be kind of tough, focus on Kirby. Like, focus on Kirby and what's ahead of him. Now, you want to make sure you get this, because there's a CD- Okay, good. And that should be, that's everything. Awesome. Now see, we missed the five, so I'm going to try and aim for a three instead. Which is much easier to get. And of course I get the five. <sighs> that happens way too often as well, and it's really irritating. Because like, I want the three, I don't care about the five. And we get a pickle. Oh, no, sorry, it's a bean. It looks like a pickle. The bean, if my reserves... Yeah, it goes right there. I'm not gonna go on my way to, like, try to run and make Kirby chuck it, but if I can, then it's funny. So we have Big Bean Vine. 
Um. You know what? Let's let's do one more. I might do uh, three stages per episode, just because I'm looking down, seeing 16 minutes in. The first one was uh, the first episode is maybe just a bunch of tutorials and stuff. So why not? These arrow guys, I hate them. Uh, that's one thing to note too is uh, any type of stuff like arrows and uh, really anything that looks like uh, a projectile or something has piercing powers and can go through multiple things. Also, the first time, because Kirby has, uh, where if you go too far, enemies will come back. Uh, the first time you kill an enemy, uh, they'll drop beads. The second time, so they kill you. Just outright kill you. The second time, though, they will, uh, not... You can stand on this guy's umbrella. And hop on up. There we go. Now this stage is, uh, if I'm thinking of the- yeah, okay. You can see it first before I try them over there. This stage, I remember- if, I can't remember if this is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, no, this definitely is the one I'm thinking of. This stage is interesting. That's all I'm gonna say. I had to readjust myself. Because I know you totally want to hear that. <laughs> the less player needs a moment to himself. Oh, that sounds gross, actually. Let's not say that. Think of the children. Now, these balloons are uh, are interesting. And in the fact that if you stand on the balloons or them uh, for a long enough period of time, they start to deflate. These guys, I hate them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Here is our second for... Really? You are useless to me. Huh? Nope. I gotta wait for a second one coming. Now, if you jump off, they actually go up higher. Excuse me. There's a CD. That'll happen a lot, where you'll get one for a tritum, then a CD, and then, uh... You'll get the, like, second for a tritum, uh, later. So, if you're at the end and you, uh, don't have something, that's when the freak it. Oh, uh, you- I hate those- I hate these enemies. Like, straight up, I just hate these enemies. I want this- Oh man. You want to Hadouken me? Hadouken! I, I seriously can't stand those enemies. They're the most obnoxious of people. You come here. You're about to die anyways. I will save you by killing you! Okay. Oh, if, if this is the stage, then I, I think I know where the last one is. Oh. Ah, this guy. So that. He should only take two. Yeah. I, but by the way, I just want to mention, I love the sound effects in this game. Like, when you hit something, it has a, like, not doorbell sound effect, but... I don't know what that would be. I don't know what you would classify the sound effect. Uh, for this, you definitely want to uh, utilize the jumping. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> you can call me cruel by uh, doing that, and you're right. Gimme! Do that. Now it looks like there's something off screen, and I don't think there is. No, it stopped me from trying to go over there. And maybe I do like the the music in this game is pretty fantastic. I will say that. That is one of the plus of the games. The game, not games. Um, jerk. Okay. Now here you want to come up here. And here's the last front tribe, yeah. That one can be kind of irksome to get on my way. <laughs> there we go. I think it actually makes a B sound, that's kind of weird. I'll spring you with me, just in case I need you. I want that star! Gimme! There we go. And we seem to got everything so sweet. And... no. I probably missed it. As per usual. Stop, stop. Okay, good. Finally got the five.
And we go, we are! I have to go right there. Oh, I was, I was kind of hoping it would actually raise you up further. And just like that, we open up the first boss, the door to the first boss, Fatangara. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. Next time, we'll be tackling the first boss of World or the, the boss of World 1, I should say, the first boss of the game. And, uh... Hopefully doing more of the, because we have two more bonus uh, stages, as you can see. Uh, so we'll be tackling the boss and hopefully those two stages. So until then, I will see you all next time.